Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jules and today we are making vision boards. A vision board is simply a visual representation of your goals, your hopes, your dreams, and it's an opportunity to get creative and let your imagination run free. Today's exercise is a part of the Calm and Collected New Year Challenge, so if you're just joining us, be sure to catch up on the first two videos in the description below. Let's get started. The first step to creating a vision board is setting the mood. Maybe light some candles, put on some good music, I'll link my playlist down below, and create a calming environment. The next step is crucial. Let go of your limiting beliefs. To help you think more expansively when envisioning your dream life, I put together some thought starters. Feel free to pause as you answer each question. Ask yourself, how do I want to feel this year? What are some words of affirmation? Do you have a theme word for the year? What activities make me feel most in my element? What is an ideal day in my life? What do I see, smell, hear, taste, feel? Who is by my side? Think big picture. If nothing stood in my way, whether it be fear, money, time, or energy, what do I want in life, big or small? And lastly, why do I want these things? How will having these things make me feel? Once you've completed the journal prompts, let's start gathering images and words that represent the year you want to manifest. You can create a vision board digitally using Pinterest or physically using some cardboard as your base and some magazines and catalogs. Since I only had a handful of catalogs and they were mostly home decor, I ended up doing a bit of both. I printed out some images from Pinterest for some of the more specific things and started cutting out what spoke to me the most from the catalogs. As you thumb through the photos, allow yourself to feel hope, excitement, and joy for the future. Let your rational mind rest and let your inner child and creativity run free. While you're cutting out images and placing them on your board, try to visualize yourself going through the motions of what it takes to achieve these dreams. As I head into the new year, I want to continue following my curiosities and leading with my heart. I want to read more books that change my life. I want to learn how to longboard dance like this cool chick. I want to continue being intentional with my physical space and keeping it free of clutter because I know that's what makes me feel my best. I want to feel expansive, confident, and doubt myself less. I dream of cozy and calm weekends away from my phone and filled with the humans that I love. I dream of finally being able to buy this freaking couch that I've been wanting for over a year. I dream of going back to visit Korea, and I dream of finally going on our honeymoon in Bali, sleeping in tree houses and paddleboarding in clear blue water. I have no idea what this new year will look like but I am allowing myself to open the gates to my curiosities and begin to dream and feel hopeful again. By acknowledging these dreams, I am one step closer to making it a reality because I now have clarity on what it is I even want. And that's usually the hardest part. Once you're clear on what the goal is, you can then work backwards to plan your steps to actually get there. Allow your vision board to be an unfiltered visual representation of your dream life. You're planting the seed. You're visualizing what's possible. And in next week's video, we'll create a roadmap to actually make it happen. Thanks for joining the Calm and Collected New Year Challenge. I will see you next week.